I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an autumn harvest. I take two fingers over here towards the left and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a flat oval. I come on the left side and I draw a curve line down. Come on the right side, draw a curve line down. Come back to the left, zigzag, 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 connect. Starting at this point on the left, I draw a curve line up, down, down, curve line out, up, up, curve line, up, and connect. I come over here and I draw a curve line out. Come on this side, curve line down. Come on this side, curve line down. Come back to the first one. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And put a little slightly curved line in the center. Come down to the next one. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Put a little curve line in the center. One more. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And put a slightly curved line down the center. Come back up to the top. We're going to draw a curve line down. Jump over. A curve line down. Jump over. Curve line out. Down. And leave it floating. Come back on the right hand side. We're going to draw a curve line out. And leave it floating. Okay? This is going to have a lot of overlaps. So just watch what we do. Starting right about here, put a dot. And we're going to draw a curve line out, in, out, in, and leave it floating. Come right back to the dot, curve line out, in, connect. Come up on the top, curve line up, over, down, little curve line up, down, connect. Come right next to it, and we're going to do an overlap. Curve line in, out, and down. Curve line, little curve line, up, and connect. Come up to the top, little curve line, curve line, curve line down, connect. Little curve line up, down, connect. One more. Let's, now we're going to go back to this line and extend it down, bam, so it crashes into there. And now we can do curve line, curve line out, down, connect, come up to the top, curve line over, down, little curve line up, down, connect. Okay, now that we've got these in place, we can come back and connect that line. Come back up to the top on this space. We're just going to draw a curve line down. Another curve line, jump over, jump over, connect, draw another floater, curve line, another big curve line, crashes into that, one more, out, down, connect. Come to the bottom of this space, big curve line, little curve line, connect, Big curve line. Now let's do this little curve line in, little curve line, and little curve line. There we go. Let's see, do we need to add one more curve line? Mm, I think we're okay. Maybe right here, let's do a floater. There we go. All right. Now come back over here on the right. And we're just going to draw curve lines, curve line connect. These are overlaps. Curve line, 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 curve
curve line connect. Keep going, curve line, as many as you can fit, curve line, connect. Then put little dots inside. Little dots inside. Now all of us are going to have a different amount. Let's put a little curve line here, connect because we all draw a different little curve line here, connect also. All right, now I'm gonna come over to the left and I'm gonna draw a slightly wavy line. Bam, it crashes into that, that's fine. Come over, slightly wavy line, bam, slightly wavy line, okay. Now, right over here, we're gonna draw curve line, connect. We're going to draw inside little circles with dotted lines on the inside, okay? Now at the top we draw a curve line up, down, connect, curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect, come on the opposite side, curve line out. In, out, in, out, in, connect. Now, starting right here, we're just going to draw a straight line down until bam, it crashes into that. Straight line down, crashes into that. Let's add a big curve line out, down, connect on the left. And if you can fit one in, on the right. Come back and put a little curve line little curved line. Come over here if you have room. Let's draw that baby circle again. Dotted circle with little dotted line in. Okay, starting at the top, curve line up, down. Curve line out, in, out, in, out, in. Come on the other side, curve line out, in, out, in, connect. Now, same thing, one straight line, bam, it crashes into that, don't draw through your drawing, two, bam again. Come on the bottom, big curve line out, in, if you can fit it, big curve line, jump over, don't draw through your drawing, big curve line. If you have room, one more circle. Inside, dotted line circles. Keep going. Curve line up, down, out, in, out, in. Curve line out, in, curve line out, in. Curve line out, in. Straight line all the way down, bam, it crashes in. Straight line, jump over, big curve line out, in, out, in, curve line inside, curve line inside. I think that's all. Let's see how we are going to color this in. Okay, we are going to double color a lot of this. So the first thing I'm going to do is work on this space and this is yellow orange. And I'm going to put that first layer of color inside so I get a good strong coat of yellow orange on the inside. This also helps me see what I'm doing and how I drew it. And you can see there's overlap so sometimes you just have to be really careful not to color a part that's not belonging to the original space. Okay, so first I do my yellow orange, then I come in with my orange orange. And I'm just putting some curved lines to kind of give it a more orange look, but you're going to end up with like a two-toned double color. Keep going. Take your time. That looks pretty good. Always work light to dark. So we're going to do your yellow orange first 
Then you come back in with your orange orange. Okay. Next, I've got quite a few greens. So with my regular green, I'm going to do this space and this space and this space. Okay, this is all my regular green and these are also green. Kind of vines, they go with the vines. So this is all green. Okay, and this little guy is also green. Then I look at my other things, and over here, these should be green, regular green, green, green. Okay, all right, that is because all of these greens I'm going to do yellow green. Okay, so these leaves. These spaces, this is going to be yellow green. This is yellow green. And this is yellow green. And everybody's is going to be a little bit different looking because we all draw differently. Size wise, makes a difference. Okay. Now, I did the centers light to dark. So the centers, these baby circles, I'm doing brown, brown, regular brown, and brown. I'm also going to color this space, this space, and this space brown. Okay? Then I come back over lightly with my black. And I color this in lightly, not dark, not so dark you can't see all those little circles you made with the dotted lines. Okay? Next, I get my yellow and I do all of these spaces yellow. And I take my time, which I know you, as always, will do a way better job than me. Make all of these yellow. Okay. And if you have multicultural crayons, you can come down here and do these tan. You can make them a light brown. These are supposed to be almonds. So I'm using, I think this is peach color those in and then last but not least let's do these spaces red now because these come in all different colors you could do a granny apple which is a lighter green you can do golden apples which is yellow but I just did mine red so do this pretty completely colored in. Now, once you've done this, color it in maybe a little bit darker than I am, but once you've finished, I looked at it and I thought, okay, what background color, what foreground color would be good for a fall harvest? Okay? And I thought purple. So down below this space, I'm going to do purple, and this is all those spaces that you see in between all of your harvest items. So do this all purple, and then I added some purple straight lines. Now you got to be careful that you don't crash into all your other drawings, but it does add something to the whole drawing. Okay, so I do purple all the way across, purple straight lines. Okay, 
Now, you can change the colors that you, I've used to your own. You are the artist. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Autumn Harvest all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.